back me up or get slapped up. Hello everyone, we're back again for another Small Axe review. Today we're going to be talking about the third film in the series. It's Red, White and Blue. Before we get into that though, please, please don't forget to like and if you're new, subscribe to the channel. It really does help me grow on YouTube. Now, Red, White and Blue stars John Baega as Leroy Logan and Steve Toussaint as his dad, Ken Logan. The film is available on the BBC iPlayer here in England or if you're in the rest of the world, it's on Amazon Prime Video. It tells a true story of Leroy Logan who was originally in the science field, but after seeing certain things that was happening, he decided to join the Metropolitan Police to try and make a change in his community. The film starts off by showing us encounters that he has with the police as a young boy and also shows us some of the interactions that his dad has with the police. So you kind of get an understanding of where he's coming from. You also get different perspectives shown from his family and his job. He's originally in science doing some sort of research but you can see that's not necessarily inspiring him when he looks at what's going on in the streets and i like that the film gave you that broad spectrum it showed you clearly his motivations for wanting to join the police as you can imagine even still to this day <laughs> a black guy wanting to join the police is gonna be a no-no especially within the black community as far as he's concerned the only way change is gonna happen is if he gets in from the inside. And I get that. When we speak about how we can stop all these institutions from being racist, it has to start from somewhere. People need to start getting into these institutions. But obviously, it's a catch-22 because as a black man who's been stopped and searched multiple times, you kind of feel like, I don't want to join the police. Why would I want to be part of this organisation? But then you have to see it as someone's got to make that change. Someone's got to make that jump. You've got to go in there, change governance, change structures, change ways of thinking. And so I love that the film shows that side of things, how his own community treats him once he actually gets into the force. But it also shows the reality of joining the police force in the 1980s in London what that was like from the inside. There's obviously a lot of racism still going on today within the police. So imagine back then what was going on. And I love the way this film depicts that. You get this sort of separation and detachment from his own community, but even the community he's now become a part of, you feel that isolation within there. The way certain things are filmed, you just might get a shot of his hands and then it, it shows the white people's hands. And I like subtle gestures like this that are displayed throughout. There's a lot that's shown visually that doesn't need to be spoken about to be explained. And then not only does he have to deal with just the community, his dad also is not on board with this at all based on the experiences that he's had with the police. So you see that fractured father-son relationship. The relationship contains subtle elements of trying to fit in, trying to be British, as he says, and I, I like that dynamic, similar to what I spoke about in his house. It's just an intriguing look and balance of trying to fit into society, but not losing who you are. But ultimately, they are father and son. And speaking of his dad, Steve Toussaint gives an excellent performance. It's very well-rounded, very believable, very intense at certain parts. John Baega, he's been a quality actor for a long time, from Attack the Block to Imperial Dreams, to Detroit. I've always known him to be a quality actor and there's no difference here. His passion just explodes off the screen and you really felt the struggle that Leroy must have went through. But I also like the fact when it was time to turn it on, <laughs> he turned it on, he took it back to those days like I'm still from the hood, don't try and play me. And there was a perfect balance within his character between knowing where he's coming from but still trying to get things done throughout the ranks of the police. Overall, the film was excellent. The dialogue was poignant. It was powerful. It's good to see another black inspirational story being told on film. And again, like I said with Mangrove, I think this is something that everyone needs to watch, but particularly the younger generation. This is a sort of film that could inspire younger people to actually make a change and consider joining the police force, which is one of the ways I personally think is the only way we can change institutional racism my biggest issue with the film was how it ended it didn't complete Leroy's entire story it kind of had an abrupt end and so you didn't really see his journey from the start of his career to the end you're gonna have to google that yourself and I think the ending of his story 
is one of the most key things. So I'm not sure why Steve McQueen decided to end it the way he did. That was disappointing and that dropped it down. I'm going to give it four stars. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and watch some of my other videos.